What's up guys, it's Ken, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a super fun video for you guys. A video that I wanted to do for such a long time. I'm just gonna be recreating magazine cover shoots. So stick around if you want to see more. Before continuing with the video, I would love for you guys to follow me in my social media. I'm gonna be posting these pictures up in my Instagram because they turned out so good. And I just really can't wait for you guys to see how this video turned out and how the images turned out. They turned out so, so amazing. Down below, you could also follow me in my second channel, which is a vlogging adventure channel where I post a lot of travel videos, which is pretty cool. If I do say so myself, you guys should totally check that out. And without further ado, let's start with the video. I have to give a shout out to Kelsey Simone. This idea, I got it from her. She's really been the only person that I've seen do this same video. I got the idea from her, and I just thought it was an awesome idea, and why not do it in my channel? So for the first magazine cover that I did was this Michael B. Jordan for WSJ Magazine. I don't even know what that stands for. Oh, here it is. The Wall Street Journal Magazine. I thought it was a pretty cool, simple magazine cover that I could do very easily both the photo shoot and the photoshopping because I will be taking these pictures to photoshop and just going crazy with them so it could look very very similar. So for this first magazine cover that we're gonna do I am just putting my camera on the tripod I'm using my Canon um, T5 Vive Rebel um, and I just have the 50 millimeter lens and this is what I'm gonna be using to take all my pictures basically and Let's get started. Finally, I found where to put you guys that looks okay. You're on my tripod, my camera's above the phone. So I hope you guys can see me good. <laughs> okay, now let's start recreating this. I think I got it, so I'm gonna check. Okay, so I totally got that one, like, just in the third shot. Let me show you guys. I do have to edit it, and it will come out almost exactly the same. So I'm pretty happy with that one. Are you guys ready to see how this picture turned out? Drum roll, please. Look how my picture turned out to the original. It's so similar, it's so cool. I just really like how it looks. I think it, I think it came out so nice, so cool. And yeah, I, this was, like I said before, really easy. And I just went really safe with this one because I knew that this video wasn't gonna be really easy because I was doing it all by myself. Moving on to cover shoot number two. For this magazine cover, I'm doing the Vogue Man Arabia and it has Eunice Benjamin on the front cover. Yeah, I think this is kind of similar. I have the black and the red. I'm looking at it over here on my tablet. Um, yeah, I think I, think I could do this. I think I could pull this off. Even though it's, just, it's black, I still have the red, and I still have the colors, okay? And this is the result for this cover. Look at the similarity guys, it's so cool. I think I got her pretty spot on. And the editing, for the third one, I did a Bizarre Grooming Magazine cover. And it has Godfrey's, I think that's his name on the cover, is that his name? And this one was really easy, I got it pretty fast. I got it like in the fifth shot or something, and I think it came out really good. Okay, so I think I got it. So I think this one's the one. Of course, when I edit it, it's gonna look so much more like the picture. I need to mirror it, change the colors, and put the bazaar at the top. I'm so excited to edit these pictures. I think this is the one that I like the most out of the four of them because I, it just looks so natural and real. For some reason, it looks so real. Not to toot my own horn, but I'm pretty good at Photoshop. And for the last one, I did Man Magazine, and on the cover, it has Pharrell Williams. This is why I'm dressed like this right now, because I, this outfit, I, I really like it. But this was the outfit that I chose to recreate this image, and here is the process of me taking the pictures. So now I'm ready for magazine cover number four. 
Um, this is my outfit. Let me show you guys the, the light. It's like a, it looks like a Canadian tuxedo. I am really digging this outfit. So let me put you guys down here so you guys can see the shoot. Okay, so I just finished that last one. Oh my god, it took me so long. It was it was the hardest one to recreate. I'm not gonna lie, I took my time. I think I took like 50 pictures of that one, of that same pose. Just this, I have to admit, it was the hardest one because I just couldn't get the angles. I don't I don't even know, but I just couldn't get the angles. So I took like 100 pictures of it. I'm kidding, I took like 50, I think. Um, and this is the one that looks the best. I still think it looks pretty good. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below if, if, if I did a good job on this one. I think I did do a good job, but I don't know, it was kind of hard to get that angle. But I do have to say that I did kill it in the Photoshop anyways, and it looks really similar. So that was this week's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I had so much fun filming it and editing these pictures in Photoshop. I love photoshopping. I love doing photo shoots, so this video was such a breeze for me to film. It wasn't easy, but it was really fun, and I'm really happy that I did it. If you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did, please give it a big thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. If you want me to do a part two of this video, please let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to. This was so much fun. I would do it in a heartbeat. I hope you guys have a good week, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.